Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Violent protests rock Kano as 17 year old boy in police custody dies. This is how they kill the youths of the nation. I remember vividly well, not too long ago, a few years ago, when uh, Muhammad Buhari's son, nobody sent him or went to ride a bike. He fell from the bike and you could see Buhari drop every other thing, ran to the place of his son, send him abroad to be, you know, to be looked after and to recover. <clears throat> but right now, Nigerian youths, lives have no value in the same man, the hand of the same man who his son has value in his hands. Remember, hmm, what goes around, it comes around. And if you think your son is the golden boy, I feel for you. Because in no distance time, himself will become, he will become a, a commodity, uh, I mean, a, a wrong commodity. Uh, the people right now that you, people right now you think are not human beings, will be the one to rule. Whether you like it or not, they will be the one to rule. And so this is happening and Nigeria is moving forward. We are making progress. A 17-year-old boy in police custody in Kanu, that is Ganduja's territory, died. And this has led to violent protests in Kaduna State. Ganduja is one person who really, you know, speaks for Muhammad Buhari and see no fault in him. So also Buhari, this is the same man who they caught, they caught him. I mean, he was caught life collecting bribe. But guess what? Buhari still put him back as the governor of Kanu State. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Violent protests rock Kanu. A 17-year-old boy in police custody dies. There was violent protests early hours of Monday as the people of Kanu took to the street protesting violently against the alleged killing of a 17-year-old boy. Safuru of Kafra Mote Quarters was said to have been arrested two days ago by the police while he was sleeping at his family house. Reports have it that despite protests by the police of the community that he was never known for any criminal tendencies, he remained in police custody where he, was alleging give, where he allegedly gave up the ghost. Our correspondent reportedly gathered that Safaro has been released on bail only for the police to rearrest and detain him again, where he was allegedly tortured to death. The police brought his corpse to the family house this morning, a development which angered the people to take to the streets, and they started making bonfires in protest all over Kanu State. So this is what is happening. This is what, you know, they beat this young boy, 17 year old, to death. The hearing of this boy because of answers that is going on. This is how they behave all around the country. It's the same thing all around the country. This is how they do. There is one that happened in Delta State. They beat him to death. Yeah, they even still, this one, they still, they respected the parents. They brought the boy's cops. Do you know what happened? They beat that one to death, 17 as well. And guess what? They buried him. The parents went and asked for the body and they called off their bluff. They said, no, you cannot have the body. In this country, in this country. So you can see police brutality that the government is aiding it, is fueling it. And that's why they have put policemen on our streets to go ahead and to make life unbearable for Nigerians. They've put policemen on our streets. They've gone ahead and they are doing what they are doing. These policemen are not trained. No manners. No, 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 they, no, no, no human feeling. They don't even know they are left from their right. Mm -hmm. So police has now become the new lord in Nigeria. The people who you, you people who you want to investigate are the ones that you are saying yes sir for. They are the main people stealing from the nation. Not the small, small boys that you call the Yahoo boys. Those are the ones stealing from the nation. You cannot check their phone. Yet you see other people and you want to check their phone at all costs. These people really stealing from the nation, stealing billions. Nobody checks their phone. I'm telling you, this is injustice going on in our country. And Nigeria has to rise to the fact that once upon a time, this country cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this and expect things to change. 
Muhammad Buhari, you have not lived to the cause to prove to Nigerians that you want being our president. Very soon, we begin to send petitions to all over the world and we let them know of how in the injustice you are posing on Nigeria and uh, what you are doing. You use the army and the army, you are, so, you are so dumb. You guys cannot stand up and defend Nigerians and stand up to say, these people are brothers, are sisters. We are in uniform, but we are one people. Nigerians, is about time. It's about time we rise up, you see. And again, with this whole um, army people, you, you, watch, you, watch the, you watch the videos, some of the videos we have posted, how they go about beating boys, you know, people holding Nigerian flag, no manners, no respect. I don't get it. And Buhari is saying nothing, absolutely nothing. Can we continue like this and expect peace to be in this country? And we expect peace to be in this country? You want Nigerians to continue to say yes, sir, to you? It will not happen. We are wiser, we are stronger, and we know of all these your antics you guys are doing. It will not fetch you anything. It's about time, and we are rising up to say no more. No more, no more. This evil that you guys keep doing in this country, no more. We are giving you your red card. It's time for you guys to pack your load and go. This country must be great again. Nigeria must be better. We must see an end to police brutality. And we want to see it now. We don't want you guys to continue to oppress us. Enough of the oppression. Enough of the evil. Enough of what you are doing. We want this country to be great. What about our health care? They don't want this country to be great. Because they can easily jump on the plane and travel. By the time Nigerians leave the country for them, sure they, will leave, they will take care of the country themselves. They impoverish the people and they live their life and continue. Why they themselves send their children to the best of schools and what have you? This evil cannot continue. It cannot continue. It cannot continue. Muhammad Buhari, we are watching you. The whole world is seeing what you are doing. 17-year-old boy, you know, was beaten to death because, I mean, they, 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 they arrested him before, came back again, rearrest him, and see what they've done. See what they've done. And the whole, you know,